this Cusco right here, and um, one of my favorite cartoons. I don't know if you've seen it, The Emperor's New Grill. Uh, basically, Cusco was um an emperor. You know what I'm saying? He was at the top, had everything he wanted, and uh, he turned into a llama. When when he was at the top, he treated everybody like shit. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, once he fell to the bottom, uh, around all the all the llamas, he turned into a llama. The lady turned into him into him a llama. And then when he turned into a llama, the people that he used to treat like shit was working like around llamas or with llamas and stuff like that. And when they found out that he was the llama, the people at the bottom, they still didn't treat him like shit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't like him, but they still didn't treat him like shit. You know what I'm saying? So they treated him like a regular, you know what I'm saying, a regular person, you know what I'm saying, how they supposed to treat people, how they treat everybody nice, you know what I'm saying, so, and when he got back to the top, he realized how bad they treated people at the bottom, so when he got back up to the top, he treated everybody the same, no matter if you at the top or you at the bottom, he was going to treat you, you know what I'm saying, the way you were supposed to be treated, which is the right way, so that's why I got this, because even though I never treated nobody like they was at the bottom, that's never been my motive or nothing like that, but I just, I just like that I was once at the top. And you know what I'm saying? I fell to the bottom. And when I get back to the top, or if I'm at the top now, no matter where I'm at, no matter, you know what I'm saying, I'm still gonna treat you like you him. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's why I got this piece. That's what it resembles. And what jeweler made this piece? Hutch from Detroit. Mm -hmm. How much did this piece cost? Uh twenty for the piece. And then uh 2800 or 3800 for the rope. And I got the llama coming too. It's gonna be coming real soon. Probably before this drop for real. When it comes to jewelry, mm -hmm. is jewelry necessary for a rapper? For sure. It's a must, like you, you gotta have it. And are we talking any type of rapper or street rappers? Gangster rappers. It just depend on your persona, for real. But I ain't gonna lie, even if, I feel like even if you uh not a street rapper, I'm not a street rapper, I'm just an artist. I ain't, you feel me, I'm an artist. But um, I feel like for any artist, I feel like you need jury just because people gonna look at you a little different. You know what I'm saying? They definitely gonna look at you different. You gonna get that second look that you've been looking for. You know what I'm saying? Even the higher up rappers gonna look at you when you got, a piece of jewelry on, you know what I'm saying? They not just gonna look at you like, cause it show that you on your shit. That's basically what it show. It show that you on your shit, and that's basically what it is for real. Do you remember your first chain? This it. My wait, my first real chain. Yes. Yeah, this my first real chain. You've had fake chains before. Yeah, I had I had two fake chains. I had a plug, and then I had another plug, and then. I'm like, damn, you ain't the plug, for real, because you got these fake ass chains on. So when I lost them, which was like well, like two years before I got this, I said, I'm not buying no more fake jewelry until I get me my real piece of jewelry. So I just didn't get no jewelry. I just, I just didn't wear jewelry until, you feel me, I got a real piece of jewelry. And why fake jewelry? The, pre, the two previous times you had them, why not get the real thing from the start? Well, first, this is my first. You're actually taking music serious for one. 2020? Mm hmm. And then for two, you said, I really wasn't thinking about that. I mean, I said, I just wanted something on my neck for real. When it came to Hutch mm -hmm. uh, and this piece right here, did they come up with the design or mm -hmm. was that something you came up with? That was all me. And can you share the, the details of the chain, the type of diamonds, the character? Gold, uh, the clarity. Yeah, it's VS1 diamonds. Uh, and then this right here, the bag in his hand is for cookies, for, for marijuana. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much that because I started selling weed. That's how I got this chain. When I was in college and before I had, when, when I had dropped out, my football coach, I gave me my first bag of weed to sell. So he the one got me started in all this. So. That's where the chain come from. Got my bag of weed, cookie bag, and he the emperor, so you know what I'm saying? He rocking on his own. And why Hutch? Because you could choose any jeweler. I ain't gonna lie. I shit, I, I like Sada music a lot, and shit, he, he said, whole kit from Hutch, so that's where I'm going.
All right, that's good there. Um, and you have a song with Sada. Mm-hmm. It's my, it's my, really my second biggest song, for real, for real, because the first biggest song I got uh, called Yup. It was a dude from New Orleans. I, I seen G Herbo comment on the song, right? I got to tell you this. I seen G Herbo comment on the song. On his Instagram post, a, a, a dude from New Orleans, and um, he like, I'm about to do a remix. And so I go hurry up, and I go, I call my bro, Red Bandana, and we go do a remix real fast and put it on YouTube. Bro comment on it, the dude that I took the song from, remixed it, he commented, he commented, yep on it, strong emoji, told me he liked it, all this and that. And then it had passed his by over 100,000, quick. You know what I'm saying? And um, basically when it did that, he got it flagged and it got took down. That was gonna be my first million views on the song. And then so uh, so I had had the song with Sada, and then shit, that's at like 200K in two months too now. So it's on the rise. I just was salty like, damn, motherfuckers, new motherfuckers gonna see me and they gonna be like, well, he only got a song with Sada at 200. I was salty like, damn, that's not how that shit went. But shit, it's gonna, it's gonna blow over though. If somebody wants to hear the song with Sada, what's the name of it? Major Pain. And how did that happen? How'd you get Sada on that song? Uh, my producer, Duff, really, you know what I'm saying, helped me set that up. Uh, Feel me, it's all about networking for real, but shit, Duff put that extra push in for me and shit, that's how I got it. Was it a paid feature type of thing? For sure. How much did it cost? Um, it cost it 11 in total. Now for the song and all that, you know what I'm saying? Just paying him was 11. That wasn't how much the song costed though, it cost him more than that, but just paying him for the feature was 11. 1100 or 11,000? 11, 11, I don't think so, I'd have taken 1100. Yeah, 11,000 for sure. What year was this? It was this year. I just started going hard this year. 2020? Mm hmm Two, three and, months ago. Okay, two, three months ago. Mm hmm Reflecting back on that song, mm -hmm. spending that amount of money, just 11000 on him as the feature for right. that song, Right. was $11,000 worth it? I think that was the only first time it was worth it. I didn't got a lot of features. I think that was my first time it was worth it. They could have did more. I learned more, but it, it, was, it was worth it for the most part. Because? Uh, shit, it just turned me up more. You know what I'm saying? I was already turned up in my city. I'm trying to get turned up outside the city because I'm going to hold my city down. My city going to hold me down. You know what I'm saying? So we just trying to get turned up outside the city for real, for real. And just for geographical purposes, mm -hmm. you're born and raised in Toledo, Ohio. Yeah. Sada's from Detroit. Mm -hmm. I've interviewed Sada. Mm -hmm. People can look up that interview on uh, this YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But how far is Detroit from Toledo? 30, 45 minutes. Uh, Toledo used to be a part of Michigan before it was part of Ohio. So, like, we take on a lot of Detroit song for the most part. I don't, but it's in me, though. You know what I'm saying? It's in a lot of artists in Toledo. You know what I'm saying? So, because we used to be a part of Michigan. And like, we just rock with Michigan. That's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? So, Oh, and I also forgot to ask you this when it came to the chain. Mm -hmm. I know you spent 20 on it, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, was that amount that you paid for it worth it? Most definitely. Hutch did his thing, for sure. It was most definitely worth it. It turned heads every time. And how long have you had the piece for at this point? A couple months. Okay. Just a couple months. It ain't been six. It's probably been like, matter of fact, yeah, it's been two months, two, three months. It's been two, three months. 